Okay, okay, well, okay. I'm just, I'm just giving you the answer to the question you're asking all night long. That's Bill Maher rendering his guests speechless by explaining the real reason he thinks voters want to support Trump. Welcome to Narc News. I'm Narkish. Today we're taking a few minutes to break down a clip of Bill Maher that's been going viral. It looks like Stephen A. Smith and Adam Schiff got into a debate about whether or not Republicans want to suppress voting rights altogether, and Bill offered a surprisingly accurate insight that stunned his panel. I respect the fact that you don't share my pessimism. I truly do. I understand where you're coming from. But I think that's part of the problem. I think the Democratic Party should share my pessimism. I think they should be on high alert. I think they need to uh, to treat him with the seriousness that it deserves because oh, I, you're, you're having, you're having a lot of faith in the American people. The man did get over 74 million votes. You've got people that are looking at Joe Biden. I'm not going to call him a cognitive mess or anything like that. That's very disrespectful. I would never speak about our president that way. But when you're 82 years of age, it's not, it's not offensive to say you're no longer a spring chicken and you don't seem to have the level of five and, and the energy that you want you to have. And so you take that into consideration. You take that into consideration. You can't and ignore the fact that this man is a threat. Oh, make no mistake. I take him as serious as a heart attack. Okay. Um, I, I'm optimistic, but but we're going to have to fight tooth and nail. And one of the biggest obstacles we're going to have to overcome is all the efforts to prevent people from voting. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to turn out our people. Uh, we're going to have to work like never before. We're going to have to work like mm -hmm. our democracy is on the line because it damn well is. Right. Uh, and yeah. um, I, I don't. So I I take this as serious as a heart attack. I just interject one thing into this discussion about Trump that we've been having all night. It was a question I was going to ask you. We ran out of time. Sure. The Atlantic put out an article last year, and it was called Separating Sports by Sex Doesn't Make Sense. Right. And talked about how we separate sports like the WNBA. And the other, just because it's just socialization. This is insane. I agree. Okay. That's why people vote for Trump. Mm -hmm. Because there's stuff like that on the left that people just go, uh, I know Trump's horrible. But separating by sports by sex makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. And if you think it doesn't, uh, you can't leave the country. And that's Completely cutting different. off your nose to spite your face. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Well, I'm just, I'm just giving you the answer to the question you're asking all night long. Why do they vote for Donald Trump? It's not always because they like him. No, it's because uh, stuff like that well, is kookier. To them. Yeah, Seth, that's not cutting off your nose to spite your face. Uh, it's like if you had to pick a babysitter for your infant and one had a few character quirks and the other believed that your baby was a dog. Uh, you would pick the first one. What Bill Maher said was a little reductive, but absolutely correct. I mean, there are obviously other reasons people would vote for Trump, but for the most part, Bill Maher's right. The issue here is really that the mainstream left is so insulated by its own news media and behind on the insanity of its own party that they don't know what's going on. Uh, you remember when Dennis Prager went on Bill Maher and said that men can't menstruate and they all looked at him like he had a third head as if he was just making up insane things? Now, five years later, Bill Maher is catching on to the fact that the left is trying to erase gender distinction. And, you know, I appreciate the effort, but you're a little late to the party, dude. To say America is anti-Semitic is right. a lie. To say it is racist is a lie. Okay, well, These are giant left-wing lies. Well, we're talking about degrees. To say that men can menstruate is a lie. And that is now, that is what is said. Yeah, wait, 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 where did that I, I never, never heard it. Never heard it. Right, okay. Check it out, folks. Check it out. Anyone who says a man cannot menstruate is considered transphobic. I, I, I missed this whole story. You, you did? I did. I did. Tell, no, tell me where, so where, where you get. This. Just Google it. Can men menstruate? Who, who is saying this? You're who talking saying about a very small no, percentage. Oh, really? Then how do you allow men, biological men, to run against women in, in the races in Connecticut? Moving on to the next. Uh, Dennis, I remember you in the old show. You were a little more reasonable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I, what did I say that was it? Under, you, you, the, you said you that, that we think that men menstruate yes, and no yes. one does. We no, never no. Did. Have you heard about it? Uh, I'm a doctor. I, I missed that one, I confess. And this is one of the you're, premier reporters. I mean, he knows everything. The these, are, this, these, these people are very... He's yes. a doctor. Okay. He's doctor. one I of the great I would make a friendly bet that, you, that the LGBTQ uh, okay. normative statement is men okay. can menstruate. And uh, to Stephen A. Smith and Adam Schiff's points, uh, Smith acts like he won't say anything negative about the president because he holds the office in such high regard, but he elects an embarrassment like Joe Biden and that sees no issue with slandering Trump. He even suggested that he would annihilate him in a debate. And going back to Schiff again, uh, the notion that Republicans are trying to prevent people from voting is just nonsense. 
Wanting people to show ID isn't preventing people from voting. Republicans just want secure elections. I mean, at this point, South Africa has a more secure election system than we do. And, and the notion that black people can't even manage to get an ID, uh, you want to talk about conflicting interests? I don't know how someone like Stephen A. Smith could support a party that thinks his racial group is so helpless that they can't even manage to get an ID. But let me know what you think. Was Marr correct in his assessment? Would Stephen A. Smith annihilate Trump in a debate? Why is Adam Schiff still on TV? Let me know in the comments. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Boy!